According to the latest Australia climate report, the year 2021 was the warmest year on record for the planet's oceans. The country's Great Barrier Reef is reportedly facing a fourth mass bleaching of coral in just six years. Authorities say most of the marine park had been hit by significant heat stress over the summer, with temperatures in some areas as high as 2 to 4 degrees Celsius above average. Aerial surveys showed whole colonies of coral had been bleached white in several locations and in some sections there were reports of corals dying. We know that 2021 was the warmest year on record for the world's oceans. We know that climate change is warming the ocean. It's leading to more frequent and severe marine heat waves. Over the past year, a lot of this excess heat has been absorbed by the oceans. And their calculations, which I thought were astounding, were that it's the equivalent of like seven Hiroshima atomic bombs in terms of the amount of heat that is being absorbed. So those seven atomic bombs detonating every second. So it's, it's a pretty immense amount of heat that the oceans are absorbing, and it's much, much beyond what we've ever experienced. The findings from the Climate Council coming as the United Nations team visits the World Heritage listed site to check whether to list it as in danger. Australia last year dodged an in danger listing for the reef for a second time after heavy lobbying by Canberra led UNESCO to postpone the decision to this year. UNESCO experts are in Australia for 10 days from today to meet scientists, regulators and policymakers from the Australian government. We're on the edge of our seats every summer. Um, you know, here we are in tropical paradise and wishing, like I said, for cloudy, rainy days and, and wishing, well, we were wishing for a La Nina year, but that didn't even give us the pre reprieve that we were hoping for. So, yeah, it's, it's going to be really scary over the coming years. Uh, we, you know, if we have another El Nino year, which of course is a natural cycle, but it's, it's also supercharged because of climate change. And so the effects are so much greater than they ever have been. Then, then we are looking at more mass devastation to the Great Barrier Reef. And, and those of us on the front lines doing the science, trying to understand how these temperature stressors are affecting species X, Y, Z, and ecosystems, whole ecosystems and populations, it's getting grim. And it's getting to the point where we can't even simulate the combination of conditions that the reef is experiencing in a controlled laboratory setting in order to discern this. Barrier Reef is the world's biggest coral ecosystem. Visible from space, it spans nearly 350,000 square kilometers and contains 400 types of coral, 1,500 species of fish, and 4,000 types of mollusks. The World Heritage listed site is a life-sustaining ecosystem, providing food and shelter to species such as the dugong, known as the sea cow, and the large green turtle, both of which are threatened with extinction. But global warming is wreaking havoc on the Great Barrier Reef, threatening its very survival. It has suffered badly after three very serious episodes of coral bleaching in 2016, 2017 and 2020, affecting 98% of the ecosystem since 1998, according to a recent study. Bleaching occurs when the rise in water temperatures causes the disappearance of algae, which live in symbiosis with the coral, giving it its colour and nutrients. If they fail to regain their symbiotic plankton friends, the coral die. Experts say coral reefs no longer have the time necessary for their regeneration between two heat waves. Aside from climate change, other threats to the reef include cyclones, farming runoff, coastal development and the coral-eating crown of thorn starfish. As well as providing a home to hundreds of marine species, the Great Barrier Reef supports a multi-billion dollar tourist industry and tens of thousands of jobs. The scientific community believes a drastic reduction in greenhouse gas emissions by all countries is vital for the future of corals. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.